Hello and welcome to The Look Ahead for Thursday the 11th of April with me Fiona Sincotta, Senior Market Analyst at City Index. So today was all about US inflation and tomorrow the focus is going to be on the ECB. ECB interest rate decision is due. Also we've got Chinese inflation data, US PPI inflation data, jobless claims from the US as well and the OPEC monthly meeting. Now the ECB is expected to leave interest rates unchanged at the record high 4% level. Um, they perhaps could also signal again to a rate cut in the June meeting. In the previous meeting, ECB President Christine Lagarde had signaled that perhaps June would be a good time to start or an appropriate time to start cutting interest rates if inflation continued to trend lower, which it has. It's moving towards the ECB's 2% target. Now, what's interesting is as far as rate cut expectations are concerned for the ECB, Ahead of the US inflation data, the market was pricing in around 86 basis points worth of rate cuts from the ECB this year. Now, the market has reined in those expectations slightly following the hotter than expected US data, um, with the market now pricing in 79 basis points worth of cuts this year. That's still 325 basis points cuts that the market's expecting. Pricing in an 80% probability of the first rate cut be coming in June. Um, now, I think as far as the um, euro US dollar is concerned, this is this chart here. We can see, I mean, this is a very, very large sell off that we've seen in the wake of the hotter than expected US inflation data. So, what we're seeing here is after that data, the market has reined in Fed rate cut expectations with only two interest rate cuts now expected from the Fed this year. That was down from almost three just a few weeks ago. And also the market is now pricing in the first Fed rate cut fully priced in in September, um, pushed back from July. So as we're seeing um, those sort of divergence between um, differences between expectations from the ECB and the Federal Reserve, that's being played out in a sell off in the euro US dollar. Now the euro US dollar has taken out support at the 108 level. Um, you know, it's a bearish engulfing candle, a deep sell off there. Sellers are going to be looking towards the 107.25 level. That's the um, April low. A break below that brings 107 into focus, which is the 2024 low. On the upside, buyers are going to need to get back over 108 for there to be any sort of recovery. And that will bring the 200 SMA at 108.35 into focus. So just as far as other events going on tomorrow, um, we've got Chinese inflation data coming out. Chinese CPI is expected uh, to fall 0.5% month on month after rising 1% in the previous month. Um, now, concerns over disinflation in China, slowing economic growth have been hovering and lingering for a while. We did have some stronger than expected PMI data from China last week, which boosted the mood towards um, the world's second largest economy. Um, and But we've had some bad news for China today in the sense that Fitch downwardly revised its rating, uh, credit rating for the country, and it cited concerns over high debt levels and slower growth. Now, interestingly, the Aussie US dollar hadn't been affected by the news of the Fitch downward revision uh, for China, but it has been affected by that strong, strong US dollar following the US CPI data. So again, we can see a really big engulfing, bearish engulfing candle there. Um, the price rebounded off 0.6625. It's heading towards 0.65. That's going to be the uh, level of support that bears will need to overcome in order to break towards 0.6440, which is the 2024 low. Also, just to see there, it's taking out that rising trend line support as well. So that's a pretty key level that we're just seeing it break below at the moment. Any upside would need to see a rise above 0 0.6625 in order to create a higher high. 
Um, so also, as well as Chinese inflation, we've got US PPI inflation, one to be watching. I mean, it's a bit like having your starter after the main course, because we've already seen CPI. So, you know, it's it's a bit of a, a slightly underwhelming after what's happened today. But anyway, it will provide us some clues about um, the future CPI expectations. PPI is expected to increase 2.2% year on year, up from 1.8% in the previous month. Hotter than expected inflation is really going to feed into that idea that the Federal Reserve is not going to be cutting interest rates anytime soon. Now, this is a really interesting chart. This is the US dollar, Japanese yen. We can see that it's broken out of range. It's broken above that 152 level, reaching to fresh all, uh, sorry, fresh 34 year highs. Now, that 152 level is really important because that is the perceived level that was the line in the sand for Japanese authorities where we would have expected them to intervene on. They have or it's been suspected that they've intervened previously at that level. So the fact that we've moved above that level is um, is really, really interesting um, to what happens. And also, you know, we could see um, a rise now potentially if there is no intervention up to the um, rising trend line resistance there at 154.40. On the downside, support is going to be held at, um, support can be seen at the 152 level. And if we get a break below that, then the 150.80, which is the February high and also the April low. Um, just finally, we've also got, as I mentioned, jobs, or jobless claims from the US. Now, um, Sorry, that's not a live chart. So um, if we we've also got jobless claims from the US, um, if we get strong data again, we could expect that to push the US dollar further towards that higher level. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And if you have, then do please give this video a like. And if you would like to receive more videos like this, then please do follow.